This is the 200 I've been building for the past year. Finally, pretty much done. Let's say 200 block, board 30 over. 250 head, it's a 75 model head, so it's got the largest intake. Um, I had inch and three quarter intake valves put into it. Um, homemade tri power setup. We welded on some steel flanges and then drilled the hole into the manifold and cleaned everything up. And also, we made this progressive linkage, which works really well. Um, I got some Carter ball and ball carburetors on there. This middle one from a 37 Plymouth and the end two are from a 39 Dodge. So I rebuilt those. They should work pretty well. It's pumping probably 500-600 CFM into this motor. But it should be fine because it's got a cam in it. Um, it's got 170 adjustable rockers which come in handy for setting hydraulic lifter preload. Um, it's got a Claysmith 274 hydraulic cam with a 108 lobe angle. And it's got a billet dual roller timing chain imported from Australia. Um, it's got a Clifford split header. And it's got a Petronix electronic ignition kit and I think that's about it oh it's got a full ARP studs head studs mains and rod bolts <clears throat> so I got an estimate that's probably a little high but it was estimated about 260 horsepower which is pretty crazy for a six cylinder so I'm expecting, I mean with the water pump and everything on there, I'm expecting probably 240, which is pretty good because it's double the stock horsepower. So I would be more than happy with that. So it'll make a really fun street car. But I got the oil pump primed, made sure it was getting oil to the rockers, pumped up the hydraulic lifters and set the preload, adjusted the valves, set the timing, and it's pretty much good to go. I just got to make a fuel block. I'm going to make one out of aluminum. It's going to bolt right there where the original coil bolted to. And then I'm going to use some copper lines as fuel lines. So that should look pretty cool. But that's about it for right now. I'm going to see about polishing these carburetors I think they'll look a lot better polished up but anyways that's about it it's pretty much ready to go just gotta get some time to set up a radiator and put a torque converter and bell housing on it and then I'll break it in and, and then we'll go from there